Hi, I am Topon Chakraborty. Welcome to my channel Fly with Topon. Here I discuss aviation and space related topics. If you are interested to know about this world, then please subscribe now and hit the bell icon. Every Tuesday I upload an interesting video. 12th November 1996. Chimkent, city of Kazakhstan. One chartered aircraft IL-76 is getting ready for its journey to New Delhi. It is a Russian made four engine aircraft originally made as a military transport aircraft but Kazakhstan Airlines were using it as a chartered cargo aircraft. There were 27 businessmen who wanted to purchase textile material from India and then sell those in local market of Kazakhstan. Beside them there were five cockpit crew and five cabin crew on board. At 3.50 in the afternoon it left for Delhi. The air route from Chimken to New Delhi is supposed to be in a straight line joining these two cities. But in reality, it was like this. It looks very strange. It was due to the fact that most of the aerospace around Delhi at that time was controlled by military department and civilian aircraft were not permitted to enter in military zone and vice versa. That's why the incoming and outgoing aircraft use this air corridor. The point is known as Lunka and it is 370 km from New Delhi airport. At around 6.20 pm, Kazakh IL-76 entered in the Lunka Delhi corridor, contacted ATC and asked permission to descend for landing. At the same time, another development was going on in Indira Gandhi International Airport, New Delhi. Saudi Arabian Airlines Boeing 747 getting ready for its flight from New Delhi to Dehran, a city in eastern Saudi Arabia. Most of the passengers were Indian construction worker and were going to Saudi Arab for a job. It had three crew members, the captain, the first officer and flight engineer. The captain had 10,000 flying hours of experience. After carrying out the final check, the pilot started the engine and taxi the aircraft towards the runway end. Most of the passengers are thinking about their new job, new country, dreaming about their bright future. Totally unaware about the fact that their lives are going to meet the dead end within 10 minutes of takeoff. At 6.33 pm, the Saudi airliner took off from Indira Gandhi International Airport for a destination where they never reached. Immediately after takeoff, the captain of Saudi Arabia contacted ATC seeking permission to climb to higher altitude. At ATC, traffic controller VK Datta was to guide both the aircraft, the incoming Kazakhstan IL-76 and outgoing Saudi Airlines Boeing 747. Tajak aircraft was descending and Saudi airliner was ascending and both of them are in the same air corridor, Delhi to Lunka. The traffic controller's duty is to guide them for a safe crossing. As both the aircraft are on the same route, the only way to provide a safe crossing is to keep them at different altitudes. The altitude difference is 1000 feet for safe crossing as per ICAO or International Civil Aviation Rule. So the traffic controller VK Datta asked Saudi Airline to climb up to 14,000 feet and then maintain the height till further instruction. Similarly, he asked Kazakhstan IL-76 to descend up to 15,000 feet and then maintain the height till further instruction. So as per his instruction, the aircraft were to fly in this manner. The ATC controller was watching this on the radar screen. He had two dots presenting two aircraft supposed to cross each other. Tons of aviation rule, thousand upon thousand flight safety instructions, art of technology, all these boil down to three players now two captain and ATC controller, issuing correct instruction, listening them carefully and then execute them meticulously is the key to safe passage for both the aircraft. 350 lives depend on their professionalism, but among these three players here, someone is doing blunder. The traffic controller asked the Kazakh pilot to look for Saudi aircraft which is about to pass underneath an intimate ATC so that ATC controller can issue further instructions. The Kazakh pilot was started looking for Saudi aircraft. 
suddenly they could see the light of saudi plane but it was a horrifying scene it was right in front heading towards them and combined approaching velocity is more than 1000 km per hour hardly any time to react the worst thing in aviation happened the mid air collision At the same time, in ATC, an emergency declared as on the radar screen two dots presenting two aircraft merged into one another and then vanished. As there were three countries involved in this accident, straightaway blame game started. The Civil Aviation Ministry, Government of India, ordered a court of inquiry headed by Justice R.C. Lahutri, Judge High Court Delhi. After detailed investigation, he submitted his report to the Government of India. The collision took place at an altitude of 14,000 feet, confirmed by both the black boxes. The reason for the accident is an unauthorized descent of Kajak IL-76 to 14,000 feet, failing to fly at an assigned altitude of 15,000 feet. The Saudi plane has followed the assigned altitude. Instruction of ATC traffic controller were proper and clear as per ICAO rules or international rule. Now it is clear it was a fault of Kajak pilot. The Kajak captain has 10,000 flying hours of experience. Then why did he do this crime? If you are surprised, you are not alone. One place the captain was lagging, that is his knowledge of English. This may be the reason to misinterpret the ATC's instructions. One occasion, traffic controller asked him to maintain 15,000 feet because there is a traffic ahead at 14,000 feet. Here the word 14,000 feet might have appeared by Kazakh crew as their assigned altitude. Besides mentioning the root cause of the accident, the inquiry report pointed out some area, though they do not directly contribute to this accident, but need to be improved to ensure safe flying. Number 1. Delhi ATC should have two separate air corridors for incoming and outgoing aircraft. Number 2. Installation of secondary radar. At that time, the radar in ATC was the primary radar, which can tell the location but not the altitude. With primary radar for confirming altitude, the controller has to depend on pilot's feedback. If pilot is making mistake in this area, the controller doesn't have any means to cross-check it. Number 3. Airborne Collision Avoidance System or ACAS should be installed in all aircraft. This is a warning system. If there is some aircraft within a specific distance, not only it will give an audio warning, but it will instruct the pilot in which direction to fly to avoid collision. None of these two aircraft involved in accident were having this system. Number 4. Pilot can communicate in national language as long as he is flying in the domestic flight. But to operate an international flight, a certain level of English skill is mandatory. There were few more recommendations given by Justice R.C. Lahotri. The Indian government on priority implemented all the recommendations within a short spell of time and made Indian aerospace much safer, but it comes at the cost of 359 lives. If you feel the information I shared with you is interesting and valuable, then please consider subscribing to my channel.